this cute little guy here is the RoboUp T1200 Pro robot lawnmower. This thing's really cool. I wasn't real sure what to expect from a smaller lawnmower and a brand that is relatively new. And I didn't know what to expect from it. I've tested a lot of robot lawnmowers and this little guy's really impressed me in a few different ways. Let me tell you more about it. All right, so let's get the basics out of the way. I'm gonna put the specs up on the side of the screen here so you can kind of see some of the, the intangibles as far as the dimensions of it, its weight and things like that. I'll run through some of those real quick here with you though. So this is lightweight. I really like that. Um, it, it's light as far as if you gotta pick it up and move it around, it's great, but it's also lightweight means it's not gonna damage your yard too much when it's driving back and forth. It only weighs 24 pounds. It's got a three blade cutting system underneath it. So it's got a, which is pretty typical. Um, it's got an eight inch wide cutting area. It uses three blades. So unlike most lawnmowers, got these big long metal blades. Robot mowers, the vast majority, are using what are basically a modified box cutter blade or utility knife blade. Um, this allows it to do a few different things. So it got a hole, so it swings around when it's spinning around. So it's free spinning on the, the cutting wheel. When it spins around, if it was to hit something hard, like a stick or something like that, it's either gonna break the blade off so it doesn't damage what it hits. If it's a stick, that's one thing. But if it's something you don't want it to run into or it could end up damaging the mower if it continues to go, like a metal rod, it breaks that blade off and it'll stop the system. But also it'll hit those things and kind of move out of the way. So it kind of protects the mower from damaging itself as well as what it may hit. So uh, eight inch cutting deck, modified razor blades. Um, you've got some good set of wheels on here. I like the wheels. They do a good job of gripping um, as far as na navigating across different terrains, getting up hills, which it can manage up to a 47 degree slope. So that's really nice on that. Um, so those wheels do a good job of that. It is not all wheel drive, it is rear wheel drive. So you do have to keep that in mind. Um, the display, nothing crazy here. Simple display, not touch screen, not color screen even couple of buttons to push up here and navigate a few of the different features, but the vast majority of your things that you can do on this mower are gonna be handled in the app. So don't worry about that. Got a big stop button here on top uh, to immediately stop the mower. If it's going somewhere you don't want it to go or you just need it to quit, push the big red button. Rain sensor on top, uh, that is good for detecting moisture. So if it's a super dewy morning, just rained, starts to rain. If this sensor gets wet, it'll stop the mower. If it's out there mowing already, it'll go back and dock itself. If it gets wet while it's already docked, it won't go out and mow. Mowing in the rain, you can disable it um, if you really need to, but it's not recommended because mowing in the rain has an increased chance of damaging the grass. This is IP7 rated or IP6 X6 rated, so it can handle sitting outside all day, all, all seasons, all day, whatever, in the rain, uh, snow and everything. But mowing in the rain is not a good idea or mowing wet grass with its dewy because not only does it make it harder to cut and they're going to get as clean of a cut, but it also increases the chance of trapping that moisture underneath and creating mold. So it's a good idea to go ahead and just let it not mow when it's wet, come back out when it dries out. But all in all, that's it. It's a pretty simple mower, nothing too crazy going on here. Um, but I don't want that in my mower. I just want to make sure it's get the yard cut. Um, so this is a good option for that. All right, let's talk about some of the sensors and this, the intelligence of this. So you've got a uh, few different navigation systems built into this. So we, like I said, this is boundary free. You don't have to run a wire. That's great. Boundary wire has its place. It's a pain to do. Um, it can be too much work for some people. So going boundary free is a great way to do this. Um, so it does have an RTK tower that you do have to install to help with the navigation, but it's a simple installation. So we're plugging it up and putting a stake in the ground. It also has an AI camera, which they call their AI Smart Eye. So use that for object detection. It also has a V-SLAM camera, which is used for object recognition and navigation, things like that as well. Um, it does a great job with that. Mowing, if it gets to uh, a tall clump of glass, tall clump of grass, um, maybe a, a kid's toy or somebody standing out there, a tree stump, brush pile, whatever. When it gets close to it, it will stop, redirect itself and go around if it sees uh, something else on the way, it'll continue moving until it gets clear of the object. So it works really well. But it is worth noting that if you're doing manual mowing, so you can drive this on your own using your phone uh, and mow with it that way. When you're doing that, those sensors don't work. So keep that in mind. You should be close to it and see whatever's there, but it would be nice to have those sensors running. Um, outside of that, 
that's pretty much it. It does have a lift detection, so if it gets uh, caught on something or uh, gets picked up, it'll stop everything. You'll have to re-enter the pin on top to get it back up and running. Um, outside of that, it's got some overload sensors, but it, it's pretty simple. Uh, easy navigation, does all of it on its own. You don't have to mess with it once you get it set up. Easy to do. So let's talk about setup. So let's talk about setup. Super easy. Once you get the dock installed, which is literally plugging it in, uh, putting a few ground stakes in it to make sure it doesn't slide around, plugging in the RTK tower unit, um, putting it on a stake. Once you do all that, you're done with that part of it. Then it comes time to installing the app, registering the mower to the app and going from there. Simple process, uh, not unlike anything else that you would set up in your phone, whether it's a Bluetooth speaker or really no, most of anything else. So anyhow, moving on. Setting this up to mow your yard. All you're gonna do is use your phone in the app and drive it where you want it to go. Uh, you tell it to start mapping and you will literally drive it like a remote control car using your phone to tell it the area you want it to mow. Once you're done with that, you can go in and put in no-go zones. So like you with your vacuum cleaner in your house, you do the same thing with your lawnmower. Whether it's a flower garden, uh, a brush pile, a tree stump, something like that you don't want to run it into all the time or mowing over, you create a no-go zone, drive the mower around the area you don't want it to go, and it stays out. Uh, I have two different zones that I have at mow. So I've got a section here that I'm staying, sitting in now that it mows, <clears throat> and a section further back there that I have it mows well. But I don't want it mowing the area between the two. So you create a pathway. Uh, so this way it knows how to get to and from that other area without mowing. So it's a cool, cool option there. You can set up um, two go zones, which are going to be areas between sections. So if you've got a walkway maybe, and you, it's the only thing separating two areas of your yard or a driveway or something like that. If you want to mow at the same time within the same area, you can create a two go zone. It'll mow, go, drive through that area, but not actually mow it and it won't disrupt the overall zone. So that's really neat too. Um, no go zone scheduled times. So you can schedule when it does mow. So you can say, I want you to mow my yard or this zone every Tuesday, this zone every Wednesday, tell it the time and it'll take off and do all that stuff for you. So it's really cool there. Um, there's also no mow times. So if you don't want to mow in at night, because you're scared of you know somebody seeing it and messing with your mower um, it's going to be raining or it's going to be dewy or whatever the reason you can tell it not to mow between these hours and so if it doesn't complete the mowing task from the day before once it hits that no mow time it'll dock itself charge up the next morning go back out and finish the job so really cool feature there um, but that's really it once it's set up uh, it just goes you can tell it to go manually if you don't want to schedule a time you just want to jump into your app and say hey go mow you can do that as well so not a whole lot to it when you're getting it set up. Uh, the mowing process is easy and that's kind of it. So we'll talk about the actual mowing next. Okay, so the actual mowing process, what's that like? Uh, it's really nice. Um, it does a good job. I do wish that it could cut a higher or a longer length of grass. So it's set in the app, it says 60 millimeters uh, or six centimeters, which comes out to just under two and a half, like 2.35 inches. So it does cut a little short, which is shorter than I'd like my lawn where I mow my area. Uh, I don't water my lawn, but if you're watering your lawn frequently, cutting it that short is fine. Uh, if you don't, you typically leave it a little bit taller so it doesn't stress the grass as much when you come into a dry season, which we have plenty of here in Kansas. So, um, so that's your cutting height. It's gonna mow lines back and forth when it mows. It's gonna keep parallel lines. It'll mow automatically adjust its angle by 15 degrees each time. So that way it doesn't uh, end up mowing past or wearing down certain sections of the yard. So it adjusts that for you, which is really great. The nice thing with it, so going back to those blades that we were talking about earlier, with robot mowing or if you're maintaining your lawn, ideally you don't wanna cut a lot of grass off each time. It's bad for the grass and can actually create dead spots in the lawn. So by using a robot mower and those little blades, they're designed to mow frequently. So you're gonna mow every day or every other day and cut just a little bit of grass off, little micro clippings. Those little pieces of grass not only helps keep the lawn look nice because it's always kept at an even height, but those little pieces of grass fall down and help actually uh, new, gain nutrients to the grass and the ground. So it keeps your lawn actually healthier by keeping it cut more often. Not all of us have that amount of time, robot mowers help with that. Um, other mowing options are, it's got spot mowing. You drive it to an area, 
tell it where you want it to cut. So once you get to that area, you can choose this here as your remote control. You set your cutting height, you drive it to where you wanna go, and then it is going to mow a two meter by two meter spot using the where you started it from by driving it to there with the remote as a starting point, and it'll do parallel lines back and forth in a two meter square. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also, like I said before, manual mowing. So you can actually manually drive the thing and mow. So if there's a section that it missed or you want it to get a little closer to something or an area, um, you know, maybe that's not within your boundary. You want to go and mow it, manually mow it. It's not going to be very fast, but it's in one way you can do it. So those are kind of the mowing options with it. Pretty simple. Um, most of the time you're just going to use automatic mowing, send it out on its way and let it do its job. While I really like the RoboUp T1200 Pro, there are a couple of things I would like to see improved on it. Um, and these are software changes. So hopefully RoboUp can make some of these adjustments to it. Um, I've tested a bunch of different robot lawnmowers. So some features that I've seen in those that I'd like to see added to this that won't overcomplicate it because I do like the simplicity of this mower. But I'd like to see more information when it's mowing. Um, a lot of mowers when you're using them will tell you how what percentage is left to finish mowing or what percentage is, is completed. So you know if it's halfway done or 25% done, that's a really nice feature. Also when it is mowing, um, a better indicator or better, better illustration as far as what has been mown. So you can see the area on your map. You can zoom in and see where the mower is at on the area it's mowing. Um, but it's not real clear as far as where it's been and what has left to get done. So I'd like to see that improved as well. Um, sensors. Um, since it has the sensors and cameras there for obstacle avoidance and things like that, I'd like to see those either give you options for adjusting sensitivity, um, that'd be great, or have the option when you're doing manual mowing um, to enable or disable there. Just because, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Just because if you're mowing, you could be mowing an area and while you're gonna be close to it, cause it does need to be within two meters of it for safety and for connectivity issues. Um, you may be on the other side of the mower at an angle and not see something, so it'd be nice to have it just that out of precaution to kind of protect you in case you're mowing, you know, maybe you turn the wrong way uh, when you're using the remote and you don't want to go into a garden or something like that. So pretty simple things. All in all, like, I don't have a whole lot of issues with it. Just a couple of things I like to see improved. So that's the RoboUp T1200 Pro. I really like this mower. It's not necessarily for my lawn and my setup, um, but for a lot of people who don't have a complex yard, don't have a large space, um, water their lawn frequently, this mower is perfect. Um, it does a great job. It always cuts even. I haven't had any issues with getting stuck, getting lost, um, mowing over things I don't want it to. It does a great job. It goes out, does its job, even cutting. Uh, it's great. So if you've got a smaller lawn under, you know, half an acre, like this breaks down to 0.37 acres. Like I said, the 1,440 square meters or 15,000 square feet. It's a great option for those lawns. So check this out, RoboUp T1200 Pro. I've got more mowers coming. Um, I've got Yarbo. If you're unfamiliar with that, you're going to check that out for sure. I've got one from Eufy. I've got a bunch of stuff coming. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to give a roundup of some of my favorite mowers that I've been using in the last few years. So stay around, check those out. Thanks for checking the video. Look forward to seeing you next time.